and I'm here at Chi Chi Clothing and I'm going to answer a couple of questions. My biggest style inspiration would definitely be my mum and my sister. They're who I've watched getting dressed basically my whole life. That sounds so rude. <laughs> I just watched my whole family getting dressed the whole time. And I, <laughs> my mum and my sister have definitely taught me all my style. Yeah, tips. We basically all dress the same. We have the same coats, the same bags, same shoes. We could go out looking like triplets. So yeah, they're my style inspiration. So I'm loving chunky trainers, cohorts, a bit like this one. Uh, yeah, love them. My everyday style, it changes depending on my mood. So if I'm feeling a bit like lazy or a bit comfy, I just want to throw on a tracksuit, I'll do that. Or if I'm feeling really dressy, I'll throw on a dress and get really dressed up. Majority of the time I get quite dressed up during the day, but I'll put like a casual shoe on just yeah, to make it more daytime. Go day to night, that's my favorite kind of looks. I find it quite hard sometimes to find a dress that is really dressy that you can also dress down. So I've got a couple here, like this one. I'll probably wear this in the daytime when it's a bit warmer with some sandals, but then you could dress it up in the evening and just put, pop it on with some heels and a nice little headband. Slip dresses like this are amazing because you can literally layer them with whatever you want. So you could put t-shirts under them or you could kind of give an illusion like it's a skirt and put a jumper over the top, which is amazing with these. So slip dresses are perfect. Got two slip dresses in this edit. Oh, this is, I feel like this is just a, this is, oh, it is the best fit ever, this dress. It really hugs your body, gives you an amazing shape, and it holds you in. It's like a nice thick fabric, but not too thick to make you feel like you can't move. So this is a lovely little dress I've got here. And the frill too is really flattering on your legs. I love everything. It's really hard to choose a favorite, so, narrowed it down to two. <laughs> polka dots, obviously. I'm such a fan of the polka dot, I love this. And this dress is so sweet. It's got really nice shape again. And I like that it's got the zip on the side, so it's like hug, bigger hugging, while still being a long dress. Again, you can put a t-shirt under this, a jumper over it, tights and boots. So many different things you can do with this. And what I have on now, I love this two piece. Just because you can wear them separate, and there's just so many options you can do with it. A bit mad really it changes day to day usually at some point my mum's like shouting at me to walk the dogs or something like that <laughs> it changes all the time it's usually a bit crazy something stupid's always happening yeah i just don't take life too seriously ever one of my favorite memories which probably shouldn't be a favorite memory anymore because it went really wrong in the end was when um Jordan and Anna coupled up. That was actually one of my favorite memories. We all went running and jumping in the pool. It was really cute and really nice. And then he went and ruined it literally like the next day, wasn't it? Oh, that was so bad. But that was one of my favorite memories. I love that. Every single day, <laughs> I used to ask Chris to make me a espresso martini, but it wasn't an espresso martini, it was just an iced coffee, but he's put it in a cocktail shaker and like really like start flipping it around and like throwing ice cubes everywhere. So every single day I was like, can I have an espresso martini please? The best thing I took away from the villa would probably be um, be more confident and happy in myself. Before I went on there, I would never be seen dead in like a short dress or really expose my body very much. And then I just went on this program, literally strutting around in my swimsuit, <laughs> nothing on at all. And I just had like really positive things from that. So yeah, it gave me a lot more body confidence, which I don't think other people sometimes don't always say that's something you'd get from it. But yeah, it definitely gave me a bit more confidence and can just trust in my own opinion more. But it was, it was Mike and Leanne was actually my favourite couple, but now, and I've heard that she's got the ick. Whatever that is, how can you have the ick? Mike is so cute. He's so cute, bless him. He's like really kind and sweet. How can you have the ick over that? But then, <laughs> so it's got to be like Callum and Sean are the only strong ones now, aren't they? Callum's hot, like, so how can he be, how can they be my favourite couple when like Callum's meant to be with me? <laughs> No, I don't 
So like, you never know till you meet someone, do you? But I think he's really sweet and he's like good looking. And the Manchester accent's quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. It don't work out, actually. <laughs> It's so cliche, I say it every single time, but it's just be yourself. It's the best thing you can do because the world isn't stupid when they're watching you. A lot of the time they can see who's playing a game, etc. So you're better off just being yourself and people are either gonna love you or hate you and you won't ever regret anything because everything you've done was just true to you. So definitely just be yourself. <laughs> How are you spending Valentine's Day? Probably at home with my dog. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I always said before that I didn't really believe in Valentine's Day. I was always just like, I don't really care about it. This is like the first year I'm actually gonna be on my own for it. I don't know what to do. It's just another day, innit? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you love my edit as much as I do.